UK Driving Theory Test 3 Question 1. You are behind a long vehicle and are approaching a mini roundabout. Although the long vehicle indicates left it moves to the right of the road. What should you do? Assume that the long vehicle is trying to avoid something in the road and so follow it. Undertake the long vehicle. Flash your lights or sound your horn so that the driver is aware that you are not happy with the maneuver. Stay well back. Answer. Stay well back. Question 2. On a motorway where can amber reflective studs be found? Between the acceleration lane and the carriageway. Between the carriageway and the hard shoulder. Between the carriageway and the central reservation. Between each lane. Answer. Between the carriageway and the central reservation. Question 3. What are traffic calming measures used for? Helping drivers to park. Helping drivers to overtake. Reducing road rage incidents. Slowing traffic down. Answer. Slowing traffic down. Question 4. A long, heavy vehicle is trying to overtake you but it is taking a long time. What should you do? Speed up so that it can pull back in behind you. Keep driving at the same speed, it will get past you soon. Slow down so it can overtake you quickly. Change direction or stop so that it can get past you. Answer. Slow down so it can overtake you quickly. Question 5. It is raining so you are keeping a safe distance from the vehicle in front. Another vehicle overtakes you and pulls into the gap. What should you do? Close the distance until the vehicle moves on. Try to overtake as soon as you can. Drop back so there is a safe distance again. Flash your headlights so the driver knows that you are annoyed. Answer. Drop back so there is a safe distance again. Question 6. You are driving along a main road and approaching a side road when another driver pulls out in front of you forcing you to brake hard. What should you do? Ignore the incident and stay calm. Flash your lights to show that you are annoyed. Overtake as soon as you possibly can. Sound your horn to show that you are annoyed. Answer. Ignore the incident and stay calm. Question 7. Not all 30 miles per hour roads have the designated maximum speed displayed. How do you know if you are driving along a road that has a speed limit of 30 miles per hour? There are hazard warning lines on the road. By the street lighting. There are single or double yellow lines on the road. There are pedestrian islands on the road. Answer. By the street lighting. Question 8. You are driving along a busy road and you realize that you are lost. What is the best thing to do? Keep driving but check a map at the same time. Open your window so that you can ask other drivers where you are. At the first available opportunity turn into a side road, park and check a map. Take the opportunity to ask pedestrians when you stop at traffic lights. Answer. At the first available opportunity turn into a side road, park and check a map. Question 9. You have had to use the hard shoulder on a motorway but now need to rejoin the carriage way. You should. Build up your speed on the hard shoulder before joining the carriage way. Indicate your intention and then wait for someone to flash their lights at you. Pull onto the carriage way with your hazard lights on so that other traffic are more aware of you. Wait for a gap in the traffic, pull onto the carriage way and then build up your speed.
Answer. Build up your speed on the hard shoulder before joining the carriageway. Question 10. You are driving on a motorway and are getting tired so you decide that you need to stop. Where should you do this? On the slip road. At a service station. On the hard shoulder. On the central reservation. Answer. At a service station. Question 11. It is raining heavily and you are following a large vehicle that is creating a lot of spray. You should. Stay as close to the large vehicle as you can to avoid the spray. Increase the distance between you and the large vehicle until you can see better. Increase your speed and overtake as quickly as you can. Put your headlights on full beam so that your visibility is improved. Answer. Increase the distance between you and the large vehicle until you can see better. Question 12. Following too closely behind a large vehicle is not a good idea because You will get pulled along in its slipstream. You will have to keep slowing down and speeding up and your engine will overheat. Your visibility will be impeded. You will have to keep braking and your brakes will overheat. Answer. Your visibility will be impeded. Question 13. You will know if a road has a dedicated cycle lane because of the solid white line. When are you permitted to cross that line? Never. If it is empty. When traffic is particularly heavy. At night. Answer. Never. Question 14. You are driving when you come across a pelican crossing that is flashing an amber light. This means that you must. Stop and give way to pedestrians already on the crossing. Stop and give way to allow pedestrians waiting on the curb to cross. Stop and wait for the amber light to stop flashing. Stop and wait for the green light to show. Answer. Stop and give way to pedestrians already on the crossing. Question 15. If someone says that they have been tailgated, what do they mean? That they have been driving with their rear fog light on. That they have been towing a trailer. That another vehicle has been driving very close behind them. That another vehicle has crashed into the back of them. Answer. That another vehicle has been driving very close behind them. Question 16. Ordinarily you would use dipped headlights at night. When must you use dipped headlights in the daytime? When you are parallel parking. When it is raining. When you are driving in a built-up area. When visibility is poor. Answer. When visibility is poor. Question 17. How will you know if a school crossing patrol wants you to stop? By showing you a stop sign. By waving an arm at you. By pointing a finger at your vehicle. By showing you a red light. Answer. By showing you a stop sign. Question 18. It is compulsory for a motor car to have a MO certificate when? It first comes off the production line. When it is five years old. When it is sold for the very first time. When it is three years old. Answer. When it is three years old. Question 19. The fluid in your car's battery needs topping up. What should you use? Distilled water. Battery acid. Engine oil. Coolant. 
Answer. Distilled water. Question 20. Breaking distances change in different weather conditions. In icy conditions, breaking distances are three times more than usual, ten times more than usual, seven times more than usual, five times more than usual. Answer. Ten times more than usual. Question 21. If there has been an incident, casualties are a priority. When the area is safe you should. Give them something to eat if they are hungry. Give them a drink if they are thirsty. Make sure that they stay in the vehicle. Make sure that they get out of the vehicle. Answer. Make sure that they stay in the vehicle. Question 22. What kind of road would you be most affected by a side wind? On a country road. On a tree aligned road. On a busy road. On an open road. Answer. On an open road. Question 23. You are driving along the middle lane of a three lane motorway. What is the national speed limit for motor cars when in this lane? 70 miles per hour. 50 miles per hour. 60 miles per hour. 40 miles per hour. Answer. 70 miles per hour. Question 24. A S O R N statutory off-road notice is valid provided the vehicle is kept off-road as long as the vehicle has a valid mo certificate as long as the vehicle is insured for six or twelve months until your vehicle is taxed sold scrapped or permanently exported answer until your vehicle is taxed sold scrapped or permanently exported Question 25. It is illegal to overload a vehicle. Who is legally responsible for this? The driver of the vehicle. The person to whom the loaded items belong. The registered keeper of the vehicle. The person who loaded the vehicle. Answer. The driver of the vehicle. Question 26. You are approaching a right-hand bend. You should keep to the left of the road because It will give you a maximum view of the road. You will be in the best place in case your vehicle starts to skid. You will be better able to cope with the camber of the road. It is the polite thing to do. Vehicles behind you will be able to overtake you should they wish. Answer It will give you a maximum view of the road. Question 27. You are driving behind a large vehicle. You should keep well back because... Otherwise the driver of the large vehicle will not be able to see you through the mirrors. You will be able to take corners and bends more quickly. The large vehicle will be able to brake safely. You will be protected by the wind if you keep this position. Answer. Otherwise the driver of the large vehicle will not be able to see you through the mirrors. Question 28. You want to turn left into a side street but there are pedestrians crossing the road. What should you do? Sound your horn to make them aware that you want to turn. Drive in front of them. Drive behind them. Wait until they have crossed. Answer. Wait until they have crossed. Question 29. You are driving along a three-lane motorway and are towing a trailer. You must not. Overtake. Use the right-hand lane. Tow without having a stabilizer fitted. 
Do more than 50 miles per hour. Answer. Use the right hand lane. Question 30. You are driving along when you suddenly see a motorcyclist lying, unconscious in the road. There is no other vehicle involved with what has happened. What is the first thing you should do? Warn other drivers. Get the motorcyclist out of the road. Remove the motorcyclist's helmet. Move the motorcycle out of the road. Answer. Warn other drivers. Question 31. When are you allowed to stop on a clear way? During the day. At night. Never. Once rush hour is over. Answer. Never. Question 32. If you have put too much oil in your engine what could happen? It could leak out. The oil pressure will become too high. It may do serious damage. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 33. When you are driving there is a police car behind you. The police officer flashes you and then points to the left. What should you do? Pull over to the left as soon as it is safe to do so. Come to an immediate halt. Drive closer to the curb so that they can pass you. Take the next left turning. Answer. Pull over to the left as soon as it is safe to do so. Question 34. If you are driving through a tunnel, you must. Have your windscreen wipers switched on. Make sure that your rear fog light is on. Make sure that your air conditioning is working properly. Keep your eyes open for variable road signs. Answer. Keep your eyes open for variable road signs. Question 35. Some road signs give orders that must be obeyed. Usually these orders are on a red circle, on a blue rectangle, on a red triangle, on a green rectangle. Answer. On a red circle. Question 36. If you are carrying a heavy load on a roof rack you will have Improved road holding. Lighter steering. Heavier steering. Reduced stability. Answer. Reduced stability. Question 37. You have two 12-year-old children and one of their parents in your car. Whose responsibility is it to make sure that the children are wearing seat belts? Yours. The children's. The parent of the children. No one's. They are sitting in the back so don't need one. Answer. Yours. Question 38. The national speed limit is different for motor cars on different roads. What is it on a motorway? 60 miles per hour. 50 miles per hour. 70 miles per hour. There isn't a speed limit for motorways. Answer. 70 miles per hour. Question 39. If you use a hands-free phone while you are driving you are likely to Have your attention diverted. Have better concentration. Have normal concentration. It's just like listening to the radio. Have your view restricted? Answer. Have your attention diverted? Question 40. Which of these times should you not overtake? 
when the road dips. Just after you have completed a bend. When there is a speed limit of 40 miles per hour. When you are driving in a one-way street. Answer. When the road dips. Question 41. If you are towing a caravan are you allowed to carry passengers in it? No, never. Yes, if they are over the age of 16. Yes, if the caravan has the added precaution of a stabilizer wheel. Yes, but only if the towing vehicle has no empty seats. Answer. No, never. Question 42. If you tow a trailer you must ensure that it is hitched securely to the towing vehicle. You could use what as an extra precaution. An extra tow hitch. A jockey wheel. A liquid gas cylinder. A breakaway cable. Answer. A breakaway cable. Question 43. You can use the right hand lane of a three lane dual carriageway for only turning right, driving over 50 miles per hour only, overtaking and turning right, overtaking only. Answer Overtaking and turning right. Question 44 Before you stop your car, you must. Check your mirrors to see if other road users will be affected by your manv. Indicate as soon as you think about pulling over until you find a safe place to make them manv. Indicate and pull over immediately. Flash your headlights so that other road users know that you are about to do something. Answer Check your mirrors to see if other road users will be affected by your manv. Question 45. What makes a toucan crossing different from other crossings? Cyclists can use it. The lights on them are different to other crossings. Only children can use it. It is controlled by a person such as a police officer or traffic warden. Answer. Cyclists can use it. Question 46. An ambulance is following you and is using flashing lights and a siren. What should you do? Stop immediately so that it can get past. Speed up so that it can go faster. Keep driving normally. Pull over as soon as it is safe to do so. Answer. Pull over as soon as it is safe to do so. Question 47. You are driving when your mobile phone starts to ring. What should you do? Answer it straight away and tell the person that you are driving so you will call them back later. Stop the car immediately so you can answer it. Answer it straight away and have your conversation. Stop the car in a suitable place so that you can answer it. Answer. Stop the car in a suitable place so that you can answer it. Question 48. You need to take extra care if the weather is very windy when? You first pull off. You are overtaking a cyclist. You need to use your brakes. You are driving downhill. Answer. You are overtaking a cyclist. Question 49. You are waiting at the junction of a minor road onto a busier road and want to turn left. A large vehicle is approaching from the right. You know that you will be able to make your turning in time but you should still wait. What is the reason for this? The large vehicle size may make it seem like it is going slower than it really is. The large vehicle may be obstructing other vehicles to the left of it. The large vehicle may be obstructing your vision and so you cannot see if there is another vehicle overtaking it. The large vehicle may be having problems steering straight. Answer 
The large vehicle may be obstructing your vision and so you cannot see if there is another vehicle overtaking it. Question 50. A vehicle registration certificate, V5C, must be kept updated. Whose legal responsibility is this? The manufacturer of the vehicle. The licensing authority. The registered keeper of the vehicle. The company that insures the vehicle. Answer. The registered keeper of the vehicle. Thank you for watching this video and wish you will get your driver license soon.